Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play some more Empyrean. So, we are going to take out the palace out today. Now, I did find one I want to do in the future. This one is the M2A Miner. This is actually uh, the one I used before. It was an M2 Miner. It had four drills. This one has three, but it has something like 20-some solar panels. Basically, it's a floating power bank. Uh, you'll still probably need power here and there, but this one sounds really exciting. So I want to unlock this before we start. So we're going to need to do mobile solar panels, mobile solar panels, uh, large panels, shield capacitor, mobile solar panels. Lots of solar panels. Okay. So let's see if we can figure this out, because if I can unlock all this, I'd really be happy. So I don't know. Oh, here you go. Mobile solar panels. And it said shield capacitor. Oh, actually, was it shield capacitor or was it solar capacitor? Let's say we already have the solar capacitor technically, don't we? I guess we can unlock these for the future anyways. We got 800 plus points, so it's not like we're going to be uh, hurting here. Oh, there. It's done. Okay, so add to factory. Yes, I want to build this one in the future. More likely what I will do is use this one we have now, and then I'll probably scrap it and build this one just to see it. Um, well, I might use those components. We'll see. We have to see how much I get, because having a backup ship is not bad. But to be honest, I would want to power this down, and that's the problem. If this gets attacked and damaged over time, you know, already... We had damage on it, right? So we'll figure that out later. But we're going to go out and have fun with this. And uh, yeah, let's let's jump around and try it out. So we're going to try going to a whole new system outside of our current system because, well, we haven't done that yet. And I think that'd be cool. I like how, like, it's not bright in here, but it's enough light. Like, it's not like how I would overdo my base, but there's enough, like, glow effects and everywhere else in that base to make it so you can see easy and you know know where you're going so as far as i know we're all powered up we got enough everything we're we're ready to go we might as well make this uh so togi can take control for this over time if you would like and uh, we're gonna go to p we're gonna go ahead and turn on turret some weapons i guess so this will make some noise there we go and we're gonna turn on some thrusters here there we go. So there we have it. And I think everything else is good. Oxygen, might as well turn that on too, because that way we get oxygen inside, and then that way I don't have to worry about running out. And there we have it. So there she goes. The maiden voyage. So this thing, uh, it's not going to hit top speed going like this, because, you know, it's, it's meant to do this, basically. But uh, you might even be able to do like this, to be fair. Not all ships can do that, obviously, but... This one does. There you go. So this has four solar panels. Pretty cool. Okay. And this will have a longer range. Oh, yes. Maybe we'll find something else in here finally. No? Okay. thought maybe. Um, but yeah, so this puppy, we're going to go a whole different solar system here for fun. Because, well, we can now. So let's see. There's this place. It's G, B, Z, something here. Um, why not? Why not just visit it? Lock solar, uh, lock, not a solar panel, lock system in here. And we're going to jump to this place. It's going to be 11 light years, so that's going to use, uh, well, a bunch of our fuel there. There you go. And then some of these places, you end up at the star each time you warp to a new uh, solar system, by the way, different directions. And sometimes there are satellites that you can actually hack and make some currency from it. So we saw one here, and it looks like there's actually one over here as well. Um, I don't know what the Xerox one is, and I don't think you lose rep. Like, you don't get in trouble with them as far as I know. So these are these are fun to check out. And you can see that our max speed is 99, or basically you can say 100 in space. Um, that's the case with the CVs. The SVs, of course, are a little faster. That's kind of just how they're designed, right? So we're going to go to this satellite. Might as well check the two satellites out, see what we get out of them. There we go. So I don't have an EVA suit, which I'm kind of stupid for not bringing one. Or bring Yeah, I am not stupid for not bringing one. So I can do this, but I will get cold very fast. And uh, my body won't like it. We'll survive, but it's kind of dumb. I should have thought about that but next time right that's why we have these trials and errors right 
we're just gonna go up like this and then we should be able to just go up here now um i guess yeah you can just go turn off your jetpack here oh no it doesn't have one in here okay i was wondering is there a gravity generator in here i'm like eh. no gravity generator that's fine you don't need one in here but Okay, so we can go out here. There we go. So we're going to do this. We're upside down. It doesn't really matter. So spark net. Here you go. So there's like a little hacking thing. It's all fun. Initiate hacking, communicating, blah, blah, blah. Enable debug mode, blah, blah, blah. So basically the idea is I think you wanted the green. The I forget. Was it everything? Ugh, I have to relook at this later. Let's just go with this. I think the idea is I forget which one it is you don't want to be up there. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're already freezing our ass off, so we're going to get sick up here. You can right click and skip it. So one of these you don't want. I think it's the yellow. So for example, you want the highest of these, but lowest of the yellow too. Uh, so here you go. This is getting bad. There you go. Yeah, so user. Yeah, so we're doing good right now. Let's keep going. There's not many options here. Oh crap. I did not really realize we can die and freeze as fast. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. There you go. And then we're getting bummed no matter what on that one. And we f we fail. No, we're good. Uh, let's do this one. And then this one. And then this one. And then let's see here. I'm doing this fast, by the way. There you go. And you extract data. And then you log off. So you got some communication data you know crap whatever and then you can hand this in make some money whatever later on and then we got to go back in here and not freeze to death so <sighs> our body is not happy with us i don't know if there's a quick way to warm up i don't know if that's just because we're inside and we warmed up or if the shower helped i'm thinking like cold shower <laughs> it's probably a hot shower to be fair so and then of course we have some meat we're gonna have to so you know, obviously EVA suit is must for this, but yeah. So there you go. And then uh, I, I guess I never emptied my inventory. Stupid me. It's actually not a bad thing because I have uh, junk in here. So what's the input on here? I wonder. We can just put it under uh, output for now, I guess. It's probably one of these. Harvest and cargo. Let's just put it in cargo. Yeah, I can't believe I forgot to uh, put this stuff back. There you go. We want that. We don't need that. So this stuff here. So communication data, you can sell this and make money. And this hacking stuff can help you with cat hacking as well. I never use that. I mean, I guess it can help you in certain circumstances. I've always ignored it. I think he's done some tweaks to it over time. So it's probably better. But it's like one of those things that, yeah, I should probably learn it one day. But yeah. <laughs> Let's do this one because we're stupid. See if we can do it faster without dying. Eee. Okay, we're gonna do this faster this time. We know to spam right click at least. Oh wow. I can't believe it's like we went through it, but no, we just did perfectly right there. Now I don't think the Xerox is dangerous. I don't know if I've done Xerox. I must have done Xerox ones before. But anyways, there you go. We're just gonna hopefully get in the spot where we're good. And the goal here is to do this as fast as possible. Maybe I should get some more food because I have a feeling food warms me up a bit. Actually, yeah, body temperature three. It'll last a whole two seconds, but I, you go through a lot of food to heat up, right? So there you go. There you go. So initiate hack. Okay, so it looks like it's all fair game there. So we're going to go for the lowest one. Most of the time, you just go for the lowest one, you win, but yeah. Sometimes you have to play the game too and figure out what's uh, the best here. So, do, 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 do. There you go. And we're doing good right now. Yeah, I'm looking up there. I think you might have nerfed this a bit because this feels better than I remember. And I'm enjoying this because before it felt like you just never won, to be honest. So, maintenance data. Cool. So, there you go. That gives you an idea how fast you can do that. There's more to it, obviously, but I'm, I'm doing it the simple way because I just want to hack it, get. Get some good stuff out of it and leave it right so uh and like i said you can sell this to traders later on and you can make some good money out of it so that's that's pretty cool so um that might be it there might be more around but i think that's it here there could be some in the distance but 
Um, anyways, let's check the solar system here. So here's the solar system. Let's get the info panel out here. So this looks interesting. Is that a planet or a gas giant? Oh, it is a planet. No, it's space. Sorry. Yeah, it's a space. Okay, so um, this one on... Oh, that, oh, maybe we're not on planet mode because we have to go to planet mode. No, why aren't we seeing any planets? This is, a bit, this is getting weird now. Oh, there you go, planet. I guess you had to click one. Oh, here we go. You got different things. Now, really, we want to look at solar system because this can't mine planets. So we want to see what's in each solar system and see if there's something worthwhile. So, I mean, this is Pantaxid, which is probably worth grabbing because this can be help us. Now, this is Polaris here. Numerous outpost mining colon. This is actually kind of safe place, but it has a one. I don't know how this one thing works, and I don't know how most of that works, but magnesium, cobalt, you know, copper. So some of these are going to be easy to go to, but you might get attacked, right? So magnesium. I'm going to do this one. It looks pretty safe, to be fair. So there you go. So we're ready to use a bunch more fuel. So I'll hit that K key. Yeah. Smuggler stash, eh? I feel like that would get us owned. There's probably turrets if we go near these guys, but we have shields, right? Yeah, they're on. See my shields? 99, 93, 88. This is a bulky ship. They're, it doesn't have really good shields. They're the starter sh shields, but we took zero damage, and that is literally the entire purpose and point of those shields is there's no armor it's a buffer to get you out of there um those are probably pretty decent you know weapons too and it'll recharge really fast as well so we're back to normal and there we go it's like it's never happened so this guy we're gonna get in here this is gonna be fun now this one doesn't have a guideline so this might be hard this is the downside the other one i think has a guideline so i'm not even sure if i'm doing this right There we go. This one's going to be harder to use. I think the other ship might have a guideline built into it. Yeah, when I say guideline, basically it help. It has like a dashboard kind of thing to help you be able to see um, drill guides. No, never mind. They have them. There you go. So yeah, see that? Basically, you want the nipple to just be slightly disappearing or not disappearing. But it's it, the idea is it's, it's supposed to help you get it into the right position. There you go. So. This one should be fine there. There you go. This one is not, you're not going to get any closer anyways, but you get the idea. So we're getting some ships coming in here. This looks like it's all the simple stuff, so we should be fine. There you go. They're going to attack us, but we should probably take like next to no damage. But you definitely want to keep out. If a CV comes by, this ship could get wrecked really fast. Everything we've done here could be for nothing. Yeah, these are always annoying to mine, by the way, the crystals. This is just how they are, so. I'm interested in trying this other ship, too. I've used this one many times before, so. It's a great ship. I love it. It's, you know, but obviously somebody might have modernized it a bit more just because of the shield solar panels. I mean, they have four solar panels on here, too, but I'm kind of excited. And I've used this a lot, so I think it's a good, yeah, okay. That got scary, but we're fine. Now, this also has what they call a drone hatch. You know, I've been using it just get in and out, but it's actually considered a drone hatch. So if we go like this and hit F5 right now, if we can get a spot, this is what this is really meant for. So I can come out here, and then I can go out here, and then ta-da! I just got myself some free loot. There you go. Without having to go into space. So these guys are going to come and hit me and shoot me, and I'm going to fight back and... As long as it's not like a big CV, like that one thing looks like it's getting close, but I can't tell. and It's not really moving, is it? I get worried anyways.
I really care about this Pantaxid just because this is the stuff that's gonna keep fueling our, our trips, right? So when we find this, we should mine it just because we'll get around easier, so. See, this is the guideline. It's like, I think I'm doing it right, but I mean, this stuff is, like I said, is always a pain, so. I would never blame the ship on this. But we're getting it, so that's good. So there you go. They're damaging me. You can saw the damage. 99.7. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, you took out another one, huh? That's too far away. I think this is like... I think our drone goes like 50 meters, maybe. Ah. Oh, there you go. Oh, so you can do that and then fire the drone. I mean, it might go a little further, but... Actually, not too bad. Beautiful place, though. Oops. Oh, here you go. <laughs> They're going to just troll me and run around, but that's alright. We, we put a lot of ammo on here, so it's not like we're going to run out. To be fair, I mean, if they're going to run back and forth too, you might want to consider just turning off the turrets. And uh, then deal with them when they, uh, you know, they start really take out the shields then run it. Because when they do these hit and runs, it's not like they're going to actually be knocking you down anyways. And you're just wasting ammo, so that's up to you as well. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Let's get this little bit here for fun. Oops. Let's see what we're looking at here anyway. So, Harvester. Rig. So that's a thousand plus there. Okay, wow. I was like, I wonder am I even getting worth amount? Like, it doesn't feel like you're getting a lot because those ones always just suck. Let's just say that. But then you look at that and it's like, okay, we got a thousand plus, so we're good. Not that this is a weapon ship, but sometimes I wish I had some weapons in the front so I could go boo, 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 boo. You could use the turrets, but not really the same. Little suckers are everywhere, right? So... Oh, they went under, huh? Oh, there's under ones too, right? Destroyed ram frigate, huh? Be careful. There are, you know, bad things sometimes that happen. But he added new wrecks and stuff. This might be one of those ones. So there's like in space randomly you just find wrecks and stuff, which is pretty damn cool. So it's fun to explore, but you have to be so careful. This is where you get yourself killed. Which, if I did, I'd still have fun and I'd build another ship and we'd have another episode. Okay, hopefully it doesn't explosions because I'm kind of ramming this up. So, if this has no core, what's really cool about this is I could come out and do this myself. With this, like, just go like this, right? Come on. Oh, you had it. There you go. So, what you can do here is link to the ship. Let's just do cargo. Link to this, and yeah, you can use this and do what you want to do. So here's just salvage, you know, wreckage. Oh. There's a core here we have to destroy. Uh, okay. So unfortunately, you're going to have to deal with this, but because we don't have an EVA suit, this becomes dangerous, except today... Because we're going to play it smart. So now we know where the core is. We're going to go like this. And we're going to do the turrets. Because we're just smart-ish. Top front. There you go. Thank you for labeling these. 
stupid me didn't get right spot here. Apparently I thought we were in a good spot. We weren't. Okay, maybe that's better. There we go. Turret. Top front. There we go. Really? You happen to just be empty? And it's ours! Just like that. Now be careful, because like if a big CV shows up, the ship is gone for good. We're good, but I'm just saying. If it happened, the ship is gone instantly. They would they they would torpedo through these shields like nothing, and it would be gone like nothing. And I'm not being, you know, like silly about like, oh you're exaggerating. No, no, no. We're talking about game over. Wow, that is awesome when they do that. The only downside is if you loot it like this and not yourself. And if it's a big load, like you saw there, it could be problematic. So it's still probably worth doing it yourself. But obviously we have our own problems because I derped up. So, but this is fuel. So this is nice. And this is a decent amount of fuel too, which is awesome. So there you go. That is sweet. I mean, those come like candy, right? So it's not like in a main insane amount, but I, I mean, that's pretty cool, I think. Okay. These are just more of the containers. We can grab them if you want. That's probably it. I mean, that's what this wreckage was about. This wasn't like, hey, where's all the millions of this and that? This is not what this kind of wreckage is. It's... It's literally about the, um, th those items in those containers. So there's still some fun stuff you can grab like that. You know, you can grab. Oh, you want to see something cool? I think I'm right about this. I hope I'm right. Uh, we'll do the light here because I know I can replace this. Oh, I can do replace one of these again. I am wrong. Okay, that does not work. I was going to say it protects you from salvaging your own ship. And I'm completely wrong about that, so... Well, at least we know how to replace it now, so. Oh, wait, we can't. <laughs> we can't without turning it off, but turning it off would expose it. Uh, Well, we're going to leave that for now because we're not going to. I was thinking of doing it, but then I realized I this, uh, me of all people, I would I would get it destroyed. So, but yeah, OK, let's let's keep going here. So that, that was cool. So F5, there you go. And let's keep going here. So let's do a scan here because we haven't done a scan for a bit, which is kind of scary sometimes. And there was another wreckage. We were just like looking at it. Where did that go? Uh, right here. Yeah, this is all new. I think this is all new. I love how like the visuals look amazing and my FPS is like, hey, we're good here. We don't even fluctuate. Unity sometimes derps up here and there, but it's not like it's lag or FPS lag in a sense. There might be a hiccup sometimes, but keep in mind that we have the view distance at 9,000, so that probably makes it a little more messier than normal. So keep in mind, some people can have turrets hidden in these wreckages that you can trigger. I hope he didn't make them all booby traps, but just warning you, they, they exist. Let's see. Yeah, so there is a core here. So now you got to play where's the core in the wreckage. So I guess you can learn all the wreckages eventually. I would say there is no core in this wreckage here. I would say it's going to be in the station. I wonder if those are two different. Oh, look at all the, the wreckage here. Holy crap. This isn't a tiny amount. This is a pretty big wreckage. Let's see if I can make myself. With all this crap we have in here, can I make my... Probably not. We're still probably missing stuff, but... Worth trying to see. Where would it be? Right here, probably? Or... Darn it. Optical fibers. A gold... Ah, that gold ingot's going to be the one that'll do us in. Well, 
Well, let's pretend maybe this is the center of attention here. Then again, there's another one of these, I guess. Oh, they all have... Oh, no, they have all their own waypoints. So there might be multiples, actually. Interesting. Well, we'll try this one first. Why not? We're hoping that there's a... Core right there. <gasps> that is so cool. It's like they fro got frozen or whatever. Okay, that is so cool. Okay. Well, we respawn in here anyway, so keep that in mind. Oh, that's some weird debris or particle. I think he uses particle effects. So that's what you're seeing there. It doesn't really go away though. I mean, it looks weird, but it's awesome. Um, we just saw the core and I want to see it again. Light, please. There it is. Much as I wish I could stay in here and run around, it'll have to be next time. Or it could be this time if I get what I need. Yeah, we're going, we're going, we're going. We're going, we're going, okay. We're going. <sighs> F5, there we go. Thank you. Now we can do salvage mode. Yay! Only down to this. What is this? High end polymers. Oh, that is so cool. And it must weigh a lot. Oh, crap. I mean, I could do it this way, but oh my goodness. This is why. Oh, you know what we can do? Ta da! I forgot I could do that. There you go. Let's say this is going to make this impossible. Oh, sorry. There you go. The fuel tanks might have been worth grabbing, but we deserve a punishment for being stupid too, right? So look at this heat exchangers. They put a lot of fun stuff into this too. Trade goods and stuff like that. So you can salvage this and then go trade it, right? So that's pretty cool. Now let's stop here because I have a feeling we might have actually made what we need now or gotten to what we needed. Oh, no, we haven't because the gold didn't get <laughs> abort. Abort. We didn't, we didn't get what we thought we did. Okay, so let's dump this and reconnect there. Okay, that's fine. We can do this. This works really well anyways, right? So... It's kind of fun because you're like doing, you know, now keep an eye out there. I worried that like this might be the minute where a big CV comes in. I didn't see any, but it doesn't take one. You might just take these. You can get the statue possibly sometimes. So the decoration block. Now we could put a decorative back block on here and get everything, but I'm not worried about that right now. Doesn't look like there's much on here to be fair. I feel like we've probably already gotten the, the meat and potatoes of this part of it anyways. Yeah, don't accidentally do your own ship. Yeah, I think that's pretty... Oh, we didn't go up here, actually. Ooh, nice. <laughs> what a better, uh, you know, they just eat their food. Uh, I love, you know, this is the fun part is just exploring and scavenging. Undeliver cargo, that's fun one to have. Get some rep and stuff on that eventually. Oh, there's solar panels up there. I was like, is that me at first? Okay. Yeah, we could grab those for sure. I know the solar panels are going to give us much, but might as well grab what we can here. Just go, oh, I was trying to go as far as I could. I was like, no. Nah. Uh, okay, so we lost our drone. Be cool, and I don't think you can, or somebody would have done it, but I think it would be freaking cool if you could upgrade your drone, to be fair. 
Okay, so I think we're fine. It just ramming into everything looks funny. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is well we should probably blast this first. We look safe, so that's good. And then we're gonna just hit F5 again. And we're gonna look. Oh crap, where is this thing? Oh here it is. We're gonna try to look for the core in here. Is that moving? No. Oh, there it is. That's a pretty simple core. So go in the end, if I can remember that. Okay, so yeah, let's do that. Oh, crap. It's like the N or the R. We already failed, didn't we? We're going to freeze to death before we get this done. I went in a whole different way, didn't I? Stupid me. Probably best to just send the drone again. Come on. Might not. There's too many walls here right now, so it probably won't play. Yeah, let's try our cells. YOLO this. Maybe we're on this side, maybe at the time. I swear it was an N or something, right? There's an R there. Well, this might take us anyways. Nope. That's an N. Uh, we didn't find it. Wow, how did I get lost that easy? Okay, we gotta try that again, I guess. <sighs> we got ladders. I forgot there's a thing. Okay, well, we're gonna have to try this again and figure out what we screwed up here. So we come out here. So here's this part. We thought we saw an N. Oh, right here. Nope. See, we would have screwed up anyways. Is it right there then? Okay. So the N is right there. So R, N. Okay. Okay. We got this, right? I say that, but I'm already lost. <laughs> Wrong side. R. There you go. And here we go. There you go. Took us a bit, but we get it. got it. Took some derping, but in the end we won. Okay, there we have it. No, I haven't seen anything exciting on this, so there there literally might not be anything on here worthwhile. To be fair. Wow, look at this ship. Oh, that is so freaking cool. It's badass. Big gator teeth on it. Oh, here you go. Oh, well, that didn't work out. To be fair, this doesn't have to have anything in it either, right? Like, oh, here you go. What is that I'm looking at? Uh, oh, thruster. That'll be worth it. That's an advanced thruster. Look at all the stuff we're going to get there. <laughs> oh, yeah. That that alone, that, that thruster is worth a lot of points. I mean, in the sense of this ship being able to mine like crazy, probably not. If you can get all the points. Yeah, not the points, uh, the materials. But I mean, if you couldn't find certain things like Zocosium or something. This is a CPU extender. I'll give you some stuff, but it's the other ones that are worth a lot. They're worth so much that you don't want to. Sorry, I got. Oh, there's just weird things flying around. Okay. I got worried there for a second. Aha. Starting to think 
shoot, you know, just going through it like this is the way to go. Now you can also get a salvage beam. So I could sit there in a ship salvaging this like crazy amounts, not just even tiny amounts, like insane amounts. That'll be later on in life, but yeah, I wouldn't have thought about that before for space because usually it's like it's not really worth it. But with all these wreckages, hmm, that worth has changed a lot now, in my opinion. Nice. Another one of those is always good. I would say this one's not like full of life compared to the other guys, but it gave us some stuff, so. This looks cool. It's just a debris that he's using. He's, uh, it's an effect. It's, I think he's using Unity for that, probably, like some sort of. Uh, they have lots of, you know, it's Unity Engine, right? But the effect is really cool. I'm guessing he's using something from that. It's really awesome, honestly. It really gives off a of debris really nice. And it has like zero performance hit, which I find really awesome, too. You know, when you see these guys make these game, you know, like the scenarios, they're not just a guy. They're not a modder, in my opinion. They're they're developers, you know. And developers that work for free. I, I looked at the donation. I don't have not much money in life, but um, he took off the donation button. And I guess because you're not supposed to make donations through PayPal anymore without like a registered organization or something like that. So that's too bad. Maybe instead just say it's supporter. And then even though it doesn't come in as a donation, then you can do a tax write off on it. Or if it's a small business, you can write off the whole thing, but that might just be too annoying for some people to deal with. But I think at that point it's like, yeah, they'll just eat the cost. Right. But I just saw, Hey, I wouldn't even mind giving a few bucks to help out. But that is really sweet. Uh, so there was that one. That's the frigate rammer whatever with big teeth on it, which is cool. Then there's this thing over here. This is an industrial wreck. The industrial wreck is probably more interesting in my opinion. This one right here, maybe. Well, this is industrial wreck here, so... I don't know who has the core. Well, we'll just go here and do a bit of scouting again. Yeah, this episode will be a little longer, too. That's what's going to happen when we're doing things like this. I'm not going to break this up in, like, ten episodes. When we're doing stuff at the base, sure, they could be sh shorter episodes or whatever. But, you know, obviously we can't. Oh, there's the core right there. Actually, we could probably do it just by bringing this over. Yeah, right here. Okay, let's do that. We can do this without getting out again. That's the fun ones. I'm sure that's the idea. Some can be done that way, some can't. Turret. Turret. Uh, top front. There you go. I'm starting to think this is not the top front. Oh, maybe it's just on the wrong. There you go. It is. There you go. Okay. And then we'll just do our drone here. Eee, there we go. So, more salvaging. Ooh, money. No one ever gives you a lot of money, to be fair. <laughs> Not that they need to, but it's sometimes like, ah, oh, where's all that money? Look at this thing. What is this, anyways? Oh, it's a furnace. Oh, that's worth something. Another one of those cargo. They he put a few in these in here. These wrecks are definitely fun to do. There's something different. Another furnace here. Definitely another like a really fun, just like different method of doing stuff. In my opinion, I can definitely see myself doing wrecks like this all the time. Now space is dangerous. If there's an enemy CV, I'd be game over already. So you have to keep in mind the the risk and rewards too. So oh yeah. go oh here we go we got some biggies some ores here okay so we're gonna just go like this dump you here there we go
I don't know if they ever added music themselves, like in this mod, or this is just... The music in here reminds me of Eve sometimes. Sometimes I wish there was like... I like Eve music, and if you use Eve music in here, it's not like the devs of Eve's going to get after you. Probably no copyrights or anything like that. But sometimes I want to like sneak it in here. I could play it in the background, but like I want it in the right atmosphere, like the right time, things like that. Like It'd be cool to program it into the game for the right times. I know it's naughty. But the, the music here is good. But it's like, it's one of those things like, to be fair, that would be a DLC I think would be cool. If they, a $20 DLC and, the, you know, they made a bunch of like new space music. That's all it is. It's just a bunch of space music. Like 100 hours of random space music. <laughs> you, you just, you just won my heart kind of thing. Like, I think that would be awesome. Um, I know some people wouldn't always agree with that. But that's the kind of DLC is I'd like to see more for games like this. Okay, we'll check that other thing and then we'll call it an episode. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's see how we do this. And I guess the wrecks are programmed because they're different ones. He's probably programmed this in a way where, like, yeah, it ended up with two of those stations, but sometimes it doesn't end up with even one of them kind of thing. So I think that's really cool. I think that's like, you know, I'd assume that's kind of how it is. So it's like sort of like a little procedural generation or I know it's random generated in a sense with them kind of procedurally mushed in there, I'm guessing. But it's so freaking cool. So we're hoping we can still. Oh, there's a core in here. Jerk. I don't know where this core could be. Oh, found it. Okay, five, and we'll go shoot it probably. The core, oh, it looked like it was much closer. Is right up top here, I think. I don't know if I can do it with this. I'm gonna try, but we'll see. It's it's fun. We're we're having fun trying to do, you know. Uh top front. There you go. There it is, right there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I think we broke whatever was in front of it. Oh, we were so close, probably. Uh, well, maybe not that close, apparently. Holy crap, there's so much stuff protecting it, apparently. There we go, we got it. Let's do a scan here. I haven't done one of those for a while. I don't see anything bad, so that's good. And then we'll do five here. You don't want to go back to the thing because this is kind of closer anyways. And there we go. So we're going to do... Oh, yeah. Look at this. So this alone, look at all this material we're going to get here. So this is like going on a little mining trip. But look at that neodymium in there, too. This is... You can't say no to this kind of stuff. Oops. That one I could say no to. <laughs> and that one. I guess you're not allowed to have, you know, they, I mean, if the whole thing was nothing but like ores, and you got, I got thousands of ores. Might be some balance issues at that point. Oh, damn it. Nice. Nice. Oh, crap. Um, There you go. You can do that. Wait, is that gold? Oh. Sathium, of course. I was going to say, if that was gold, I would never try mining gold ever again. <laughs> uh, not that easy, dude. Not that easy. Uh... Yeah, this is getting a little full anyways. Might as well dump it in there. I have some stuff in here that's probably pretty heavy ish. Oh, oh yeah. Christmas day for those, that's for sure. Uh, five, there we go. Guess I could fit in there anyways. These might be heavy. I was going to say this might be really heavy, actually. Uh, can I hit the T on there? No. This is where we have to go in and dump it because. 
If you don't, you're gonna. It's just gonna keep increasing to the point where it's gonna become very useless. So. This is so cool. Oh, this is Polaris stuff. So I'm guessing Polaris is most of the loot here. I guess I don't know if that's how it works, but oops, you did well and then you failed. Yeah, this is not the heavy one. Yeah, there's like sometimes you see like one metal scrap as like a different type of metal scrap and. If you break it down, it gives you a whole bunch of resources or something out of it. It's actually pretty beefy. I mean, there's nothing much here for us anyways. I was just checking it. Just don't accidentally hit your ship here. I think that's pretty much it. I mean, we're not checking out the one last one. I might do it off camera, but... Oh, there's a thruster here. Thank you. Ten over here. But yeah, look at these claws. Wait, is that an actual? They just made them look like that. That is so freaking cool. No, it's a what? A strike. But they made it look really cool. I want that, but I don't know if I can. Oh, I did get it, though. Didn't know if it would work out for us, but it did work out. I was like, we'll break up before we get there. Okay, my friends. Well, that worked out really well. I like that. That was awesome. I hope you enjoyed this episode because I definitely did. Big grats to the devs for making such a cool place like this. This is awesome. This was enjoyable. I enjoyed every moment of it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You can enjoy more. <laughs> uh, this is cool. Okay. That is it for today, my friends. So let's let's look at our loot anyways. Might as well take a, a look. Let's just dump it all in here. There you go. So this is everything we got. So we got 34K. But this is some good stuff in here. Like, look at this. So undelivered cargo. Okay, so there's, there's different ones. They say who it is. So this is Frontier Colony, Polaris Habitat. Uh, this one is uh, Pirates, I believe. And then this one is, there, there's no marking on that. So maybe you can just hand it to whoever. I don't know. We got the hacking from the satellites. That is so freaking cool. So I'm really happy about this. This ship did really well for us today. So either way, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like all that fun stuff. And we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.